It's Jamie William in Upshur County, and I am here with Michael Sparks and Clay Penny. And this doggie you see down here, uh, I guess named Red, is that correct? Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, he's going to be adopting him. And this is Sherry Nazel, and she runs this joint. What's the name of your place? Animal Medical and Surgical Hospital. Right, and it's are we in Gilmer or just outside of Gilmer? We're in Gilmer. We're in at Gilmer. At the city limit sign. At the city limit sign. Yeah, that's what it looks like right there in the area. And. Uh, Kind of an unusual story uh, with this dog. Uh, initially found by this guy, Mr. Sparks. And uh, what was the story uh, behind finding Red here? Uh, we ran a search warrant, uh, arrest warrant, on February 2nd. And after everything was secure, I'm walking around the property, you know, checking for things. And I, I found Red in a pen chained up in a just a dilapidated uh, doghouse. I couldn't hardly get him to come out and I finally coaxed him out and I could see his state, which was very evident that he was very malnourished. Uh, wasn't sure if he was aggressive or not, so we called in the you know, people with dog poles. Uh, he was he was so bad that you couldn't even hear him bark. Uh, when he put the catch pole in there, he put his head in the pole, like, get me out of here. So we brought him up here to Dr. Hazel and they have done a wonderful job with this dog and have nursed him back to health. When he left, we weren't sure if he'd be able to make it or if they would have to put him down. So when uh, the dog was first brought here, uh, it would, what went through your mind? Oh, when I first saw him, I, I actually, we, we all broke down and cried seeing the state he was in. He was 36 pounds. He should have been 80 pounds. He was a skeleton with skin stretched over him. He was so dehydrated, he hadn't had food or water for no telling how many days. He was very close to death. He was very anemic, his gums were white. Um, we weren't sure if he would make it or not. You said he'd been eating dirt. Yes, he'd been eating dirt at least 10 days. Wow. And that was all he would, he'd eat dirt in his own excrement. Wow. Full of worms, full of heartworms, all kinds of worms. Worms I hadn't seen for 35 years since vet school. Wow. It's been, so I guess it was a uh, touch and go there. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first few days, the first three days, we, we weren't sure he would make it. We can't just give him as much food as he wants. He was starving, but if we give him too much, it would kill him because it's an overload on his system. We have to give him just a little bit of food, a little bit of water, like every 30 minutes. And minute amounts, like a fourth of a cup, I mean, that small of a, an amount. But after three days, he responded and totally turned around. Then we were able to feed him uh, a little bit of peanut butter, not a lot, but a little bit of peanut butter with food. And I made a, a liver mixture uh, with ground up liver, uh, ground up ginger, beets, uh, kind of a prebiotic, probiotic mixture. And fed yeah, that. I love, uh, I love me a peanut butter and liver sandwich. <laughs> 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 but that's, that is it's very helpful. Good. Yes. Yeah. And that built his blood up. Cool. And uh, he really enjoyed that. Then we normally I feed that to my own dogs three times a week, but we fed it to Red three times a day. Oh, wow. And that really built him up. Yeah. That liver like, what did you say, 52 pounds now? Yes. So now he's 52 pounds. He is doing wonderful. Um, so we had to treat him for the worms, and then after the worms, we did the heartworm treatment, and then yesterday we, we neutered him. And so he's he's been through it, but he's doing great. Yeah, he's he's uh, ready and, to be adopted. And, and very, uh, very, very graceful, because this dog's been walking around, it's a kind of tight room here, and uh, has not once bumped the tripod. So I appreciate that so much. It's amazing. And uh, Red is going to be adopted by this guy right over here. So, uh, Clay, how did you end up uh, getting hooked up with Red? Well... Uh, Michael Sparks here called me. I'm, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, he knows how I am with animals. And I told him, I said, he told me about the dog. And, of course, it then he showed me a picture of the dog, and it just, I don't know how people do it. I really don't. But, uh, you know, if if I can't feed the dog, I'll find a better home for him. You know, that's kind of the way I see things. And so he told me about him. Of course, he put the sad story on me, too, and showed me the pictures, and I, I couldn't resist. And we're, we're pretty weak. My wife and I both are, and we take try to take very good care of our dogs and, and our animals. We have a lot of animals. Yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, you got a couple animals. Yeah, we got a few calves and a few <laughs> things around. Yes, sir, we do. We, uh, we've got a couple dogs in the house that 
it, or her pride and joy. She loves those dogs so much, you know, and, and I, and I love them too, but you know, I kind of needed an old dog too. You know, I'm, me and him can ride around in the side by side and, uh, we got a, like I told you before, we got a pretty big old place we take care of behind us and we've got a couple hundred acres ourselves. So, and, uh, so he'll have a big time there. That's Me and him will together, you know, and of course my kids are all gone. I've got grandkids, but I don't have anybody at home anymore. So now I got me a sidekick. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So there you cool. go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, cause you, like you said, didn't have an outside dog. That's so this, right. uh, this whole story has a pretty happy ending here. Um, and cause today is pickup day. That's right. So you're about to take Red home. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's and it. Even though he doesn't know where that is. Well, you know, it's like I told the girls a while ago, they said, well, did you uh, get a, uh, a kennel for him. I said, I do. It's from my front windshield to my back windshield <laughs> in the front. There you go. And if he can't make it there, we're in bad shape, both of us. Yeah. <laughs> to get the air adjusted the way we want it in the heated seat, he'll be ready to go. That's it. Uh, and maybe, uh, you know, driving lessons. In the That's it. That's it. If I can get him to doing that, <laughs> we'll get a really good day. Drive us side by side. Well, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. That'd be a really happy ending. Well, that's about it from here. We'll have more later on KLTV 7 News and KLTV.com. And go pet a dog. Ha, <laughs>